tells us the plans don't match up with some North Shore residents' expectations. So what's going on there, Tama? Well, Doug, these people who live here in Great Neck, where it floods repeatedly in their homes, say they are frustrated, fed up, and all about done with this constant flooding, and they want a permanent solution. Not only because their homes flood, but tonight at this meeting and hearing recommendations about what to do about it, well, the recommendations just didn't sit well with them. My house got flooded six times. It's not life. It's death. It's nightmare. I have nightmare every time uh, rains. These village of Great Neck residents say they are out of patience when it comes to the repeated flooding of their homes. We flooded constantly with any little bit of rain. My car was totaled in our, in our garage. We had several inches of water last, this week. The storm last week dumped about three inches of rain that led to flooding in many of their homes. And it happened almost one year to the day when some of these same houses had about four feet of flood water from Hurricane Ida. Tonight, they came to this village board meeting to hear the results of a study done by an engineering firm hired by the village to see what can be done to resolve their flooding issues. We all here to find out how we can have a permanent solution uh, to this problem. According to the study, the drainage pipes in parts of the village that repeatedly flood, seen here outlined in red, are too small. One recommendation is to make them bigger. But even that won't be enough. This is not a solution. You know, this, this can improve the system. It is not a, a, it's not going to solve the problem. And because many of the homes sit low, another recommendation is to raise them. That's really the, the, the biggest fail safe is to elevate the homes above an elevation that's going to flood. But these residents learned that could cost upwards of $250,000. The mayor says the village does not have the resources to support that. So the next step will be to reach out beyond the borders of this North Shore village for help from the county, the state, and even the federal government. And another step that could be taken here, I actually just spoke with the mayor who came out from this meeting, which just ended a few minutes ago. It started at 730. He says he asked the people who lived in those homes if they would be on board with rezoning their homes. He said they live in a flood prone area. He said most of them agreed. This is not anything that is in place yet. He said he's just trying to get a feel for what these neighbors would want and rezoning could be something that could happen. He said whatever the next step is going to be, it is going to take a little bit of time. We will continue to keep following this story for you to let you know what the solutions are. But the people here say they are really just tired of having to clean up almost every time it rains. Doug.